Hello, today I'm going to read you The Journey Home. This is a very old book too, I did it nearly 30 years ago. Here's the title page. It's dedicated to Rachel and Daniel, who are my niece and nephew. One day, Wild and Woolly dug such a big hole in their sand pit that when they fell into it, they came out at the North Pole. Goodness. Immediately they set out on the journey home, across the cold and slippery ice, past the growling polar bears. They came that night to a, house, to a cheerful house, reindeer stamped in the chilly air. I wonder who lives there? Seasons greetings, boomed Father Christmas. Come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly ate roast turkey and plum pudding for dinner. They played with next year's toys until they fell asleep. Look, all the elves are there too. Then on again went Wild and Woolly across the snowy countryside into a green and gloomy forest following a twisting path. They came that night to an ancient tree. Fairy lights hung in its branches and silver bells tinkled in the evening breeze. I wonder who's going to live here. Well, bless my wings and will-o'-wisps, laughed the good fairy. Come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly had angel cakes and sugar kisses for supper. They slept in beds as soft as clouds. Then on again went Wild and Woolly, leaving the forest far behind, over a bridge and down a hillside, onto an open valley road. They came that night to a royal castle. Its drawbridge hung over a rushing stream. And can, can you see someone's throwing a paper plane out the window? Ah, Lord Wild and Lady Woolly, cried Prince Charming, come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly feasted on royal trifle and rhubarb fool and climbed upstairs to bed. And I guess if you're a prince, you can have a dragon for a pet. Then on again went Wild and Woolly over the wet and soggy marsh, tumbling down the sifting, shifting sand dunes and onto the windy beach. They came that night to a weather-beaten rock Singing and splashing noises came from inside the cave. I wonder who's going to be living here. Better than a fish or a wish, sang the little mermaid. Come inside and stay. Wild and woolly shared sea grapes served on mother of pearl dishes. The sound of the waves soothed them to sleep. At the beach we go to, there's a cave a bit like this and we call it the mermaid's cave. Then on again went Wild and Woolly, splashing through the shallow pools, over a rough and rocky headland and round to a sheltered bay. Ooh. They came that night to a creaking ship. A tattered flag flew from the mast. Who could live here on that ship? Yo ho, me hearties, called the Pirate King. Come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly had salami sausage and pickled cucumbers for dinner. Their hammocks rocked them to sleep as the ship crossed the ocean. Then on again went Wild and Woolly, up a hill and away from the sea, following some crooked wheel marks into a forest of rustling trees. They came that night to a horse and caravan Smoke curled from the crooked chimney and a crystal ball glowed in the window. Mm, maybe a fortune teller lives here. I knew you were coming, said the gypsy queen. Come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly ate goulash and dumplings for supper. They slept in bunks under patchwork eider downs. It's very cosy inside that caravan, isn't it? Then on again went Wild and Woolly, running over the rolling hills, through the paddocks and under fences, hurrying on to home. They came that night to a house they knew, 
A welcoming light shone through the open door. You're home at last, cried their parents. Come inside and stay. Wild and Woolly had mugs of hot chocolate before climbing into their very own beds. It was good to be home. Thanks for listening. Good night.